if we're being punished for not keeping the commandments? What is the only way to not have to serve our enemies Break if that's a punishment? Would it be right for us to just rebel and kill all the enemies or is it to start doing the commandments that he gave us in the first place? Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. I'm going to show you something about God law. Alright. So, what's your nationality? I'm African American. You're African American, right? So, Africa is thousands of miles away from America. It's a whole nother continent. You see what I'm saying? So you telling me your nationality is two different continents? Right. Teach up. You see what I'm saying? And not only that, you calling yourself African American. African American. There's no continent named African America, but Africa was named after Leo Scipius Africanus. You think he was black? No, he was a Caucasian. That's right. America was named after a white man named Amerigo Vespucci. You see what I'm saying? Can two men make a baby? Bring it out! Can two white men make a black baby? Bring it out, Get some Bring it out. Probably not. So how in the hell can you be African American? Bring it out. You see what I'm saying? So I'm finna show you something. I'm finna tell you that you are Israelite. You Israel. That's your true nationality. That's right. But I'm gonna prove it with the Bible. But we still on the topic about God laws. Bring it out. Alright, listen up, read. Psalms chapter 78 and verse 5. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel. So God's laws are appointed to the children of Israel. That's right. Meaning he all the laws that he came up with or whatever, he gave them to the nation of Israel, the people that you see on this sign right here. Right? So if God gave his laws to us, right? Only us. What do you think we was required to do? The laws, right? Yeah. Okay, Amos 3. Amos 3 and 1. Amos 3 and 1. Listen good. Keep Stay focused. Don't worry about that over there. Amos 3, start at 1. The book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord have spoken against you. O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. Because you said something when you first came up, right? You knew that the Israelites was the people that Moses took out of what? Bondage, captivity, right? What nation of people on this earth today is in bondage and captivity? Get out! So-called African-Americans, right? Now, I, I just explained to you that African American is a made up false nationality. Right. You see what I'm saying? So let's just say that.
the, it was Bible prophecy that the Israelites, Israel, would be lost and they wouldn't know their true nationality. That means they would be called something that was made up. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So just so far, I want you to think of the, the strong possibility just so far that you're Israelite. All right? Because that's who we're speaking to. Now read verse 2. Verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. God said out of all the races that I made, all the nations, I only know you. Right. I'm only dealing with you. Right. So the only nation of people that God is dealing with is who? The Israelites. The Israelites. Right. Right. So with that being said, read on. Therefore, I will punish you. For all your iniquity. So God says, since I only know you and I only gave my laws to you, since I made you that special, when you break my laws, I'm going to punish you. Right. You understand? What you think those punishments consisted of? Shit, death, um, imprisonment. Right. Let's see. Deuteronomy right. 28 15. No. We're going to start, we going to start here, then work our way up to modern day. You familiar with history? You, 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 somewhere, right? You know we went into slavery, right? How did how did they bring us over here? Uh, according to, Hold that to, one to, up, to, sir. To, to, to history, a lot of us was caught and brought, dragged into slavery. A lot of us was sold into slavery. Right. How did they bring us to America? On a ship, right. slave ship. All right. Now. Do you think, why would God let that happen? If God is in control and he loves his people yeah, and all of that. There's some kind of anger there. It's some kind of uh, punishment. Uh, you see what I'm saying? Bring it out. It's a punishment. You got kids? No. No. You been somebody's child though, right? Yeah. I so when you was raised and you broke the rules in your parents' house, what was going to happen to you? Two. You're gonna get a whooping, right? That's right. So remember, we just read God gave Israel his laws. Right. So if Israel broke his laws, God would do what? Punish them. Right? Now we connecting the dots. The only way possible, if there is a God, for him to allow a nation of people to go into slavery on ships, there had to be a punishment from God, right? Right? Yeah. Okay. Now, read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments. So, based on what we read so far, who is God speaking to right here? If you will not uh, observe to do all my commandments, who is he speaking to? Think about it. The people does not observe to do his commandments. Who did he give his commandments to? The Israelites. The Israelites. That's right. So who is he speaking to right here? The Israelites. The Israelites. That's right. So we said, if you do not observe to do all my commandments, read on, and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses, that all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So would a curse be a blessing or a punishment? A punishment. A punishment. So God said, if you sin, if you break my laws, then all these punishments or curses going to come upon you and overtake you, right? Now read verse 46. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. So these curses will be upon you for a sign, right? So think about it. We, we holding up signs, right? So how do you know this sign is talking about the southern kingdom of Israel. How do you know that? Because it's evident. It's written up on the sign. Right. So you know what this sign is showing you, right? Okay. So God said these curses will be up on the Israelites for a sign and for a wonder. Do you ever wonder why God is allowing our people to suffer the suffer the things that they suffer? Do you ever wonder why? Because first of all, you know, it ain't for me to wonder why, because, you know, it's, I believe, my belief is, it's, it's I got a part a lot to do with the way you handle things. You know, it's wrong to go break into somebody else, but yet still you do it. And you end up getting killed in the process. That's yeah. your fault, not nobody else's. Yeah. 
That's just the way I look at it. No, no, no. But remember, you were saying we get killed unjustified and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. So hold on, wait. Way. So that means there's consequences taking place for what would be considered innocency. Right. People ain't doing stuff and they still getting shot down by the oppressor, right? Right? So do you ever wonder why that happens? Why do because God let this stuff happen? One thing about it is you can't control an individual. I can't control your actions. Okay. No matter how. That's why I say it's not about control. If he's a smart enough guy to realize that, then it's not about control. Okay. That's the way I look at it's it. Is God in control? Compared, compared, considering what I've heard about him and what's going he's on nowadays. No. You said God is not in control. What kind of person would I be to, to sit back and watch the shit that's going on to go on? You know what type of person you'll be? You'll be somebody that... Hold on, wait, 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 I put it like this. If he already said it was going to happen, and he sit back and it's happening, you see what I'm saying? Ain't that being in control? Right. He, well, think about it, think about it, bro. If I say... Well, because you know, well, let me, hold on, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm coming from my aspect hold on, of, wait. of my words say bro. I love you, and, bro. and if I love you, why would I allow something to happen to you when I know you ain't did nothing wrong? Teach up. Okay, the, the, the thing is we have done something wrong, but let me explain something to you. You ever hear people say stuff like the NBA rigged and the NFL rigged? Uh, you ever hear stuff like that? That means who is in control if it's rigged? The person who rigged it. Meaning who? Is it the people on the field or is it the people up top? Yeah, up Sitting, top. The people up top, right? Hmm. So that means they paid referees or they paid certain things to happen to make sure it carry out on the field. But they arranged that before it actually happened. That's right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So God said if you break the commandments, such and such and such is going to happen. Right. So if that stuff starts to happen, who is in control? God! Yes, because right. he said it was going to happen. You understand? Right. So he's saying that these punishments that ain't happened to you yet, but are going to happen in the future, are going to be a sign that you are God's chosen people. That's right. You understand? So what we finna read, it's going to reveal to you exactly who you are. You understand what I'm saying? Now, now I'm asking you a question. It's more about a uh, 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 society of acceptance. You thinking about you thinking about society and stuff and all that. Remember, this society was built on our free slave labor. Right. right. You had uh, the Native Americans, God chosen people as well already over here dwelling in here before it was a society with secret with whatever you see what i'm saying they came over here and conquered this land and created a society based off our free slave labor right. so it ain't about your idea of society it's about reality That's what really right. happened why did god allow this and this and this to happen all right read verse 32 listen Verse 32, uh -huh. thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. So guys, now remember, this is a sign to show you who the Israelites are. He telling the Israelites, if they broke the commandments, that their sons and daughters will be given to another people, right? right. What is your last name? Get out. I'll give you my middle name, I'll give you my last name, Kendall. What's with, with somebody you know last name that's black? Johnson. Johnson. Do you think that was our ancestor's name before they put us on the slave ship and brought us over here? The answer to that question, no. No. Okay. So now, what do you see? Let me see. What do you see right here? What's taking place right here? This is your history. What's taking like place? The ocean and the slave yeah, out, right? That's right? So, if a white man named Mr. Johnson bought this slave, what was going to become that slave last name? Johnson. Yes, right. So, now this was written thousands of years before this took place. So remember, who was really in control? What did God say was going to read again? 
Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Your sons and your daughters will be given in possession to another nation of people. Right. Who did that happen to? Who did that happen to? Black folks. Black folks. That's right. So black, who was God speaking to though? The Israelites. Yeah. So they mean black folks equal sign who? The Israelites. That's right. Thank you. Now read verse 48. Watch this. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So God said for your disobedience, for you breaking the commandments, you was going to serve your enemies. Right. You got friends. Associates. You got associates. Have you ever had a friend? Yeah. You had a friend? Now when that person was your friend, would you put a price tag on them and sell them? No. No. So somebody put a price tag on us and sold us, right? So we have, would that be a friend or an enemy? Bring it out. An enemy? An enemy, right? Yeah. So we got enemies, right? Right. Who are they, who are they by definition? Based on what we just said, who are our enemies? Bring it out. Okay, so. Just gotta answer the question. You got to look at who sold us into slavery. Right. Well, who is that? Black folks and white folks sold us into slavery. That's what you got to keep in mind. You correct. Now, was it black folks meaning our people? Yes, meaning our people. Hell no, that's a lie. <laughs> yeah, so, give me a hand real quick in the Zenith of Bible Dixon. I'm finna edit. Remember, you said you want to be educated, right? Now, you know that it's East Indians and stuff that's darker than you. The people that blah, 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 and speak a different language on the gas station. You know, it's some of them that's darker than you. But obviously, we are not the same people. Right. We do not got the same struggle. Right. We do not come from the same land. Right. Speak the same language. None of that, right? That's right. So do skin color automatically qualify you as being the same nationality as somebody else? Bring it out. No. So when you say black folks sold us into slavery, you correct, but we didn't sell each other into slavery. Right. So the real Africans, the real Hamites, is who sold us into slavery. Right. Right. Watch this, read Ham. You got it? The definition of Ham, the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood and one of eight persons to live through the flood. He became the progenitor. So this man became the progenitor. Progenitor means forefather. Read. Of the dark races. So this man is the forefather of all the dark races. That's right. Watch this. Not the Negro. Except the so-called black man in America. So you got a man right here that, that's just recorded in records that he is the forefather of all dark races on the earth except one. Right. So that means that that one is a dark race that is not the same race as the other dark races. Right. That's right. That makes sense to you? Read on. But the Egyptians, right. the Egyptians was dark people. That's right. You understand that? That's what it just revealed to you. It said he was the father of the dark races and it listed the Egyptians first, showing you that they know, everybody in the world know except us, that the Egyptians was dark people. Right. But was they our people? Are they the Negroes? No. They had the Negroes in slavery. You right. understand? Right. That was the first slavery recorded in the Bible. Right. Black people having black people in slavery. Right. But they was not the same nation of people. Right. You understand that? So now go back to Deuteronomy 28, 48. So yes, the enemies that it's, that it's referring to is people that sold us into slavery. That right. includes Caucasians and Africans and Arabs and Chinese. Did you know the Chinese sold us into slavery too? Get out. Get out. It's yeah, the, the Silk Road slave trade. We built the Great Wall of China. Right. You didn't know that, did you? You see what I'm saying? This whole world has used us to build their society. Right. That's right this whole entire world. So God said if we disobey him, read that again. So what did God tell us about all that? I'm showing you. Did he tell, did he tell I'm us showing the, you. the crop right? I'm showing you. I'm, I'm showing you. Read. Mm -hmm. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So God said you will have to serve out a punishment of serving your enemies. So if it's a punishment, right? Just think about it. If you had a child and they had good grades 
and you took away they uh they game system, right? They on they under punishment. They gotta go without playing the game. So if they be like if they sneak in your room when you at work and they go and steal the game and start playing the game, they ain't serving up their punishment. Right. You see what I'm saying? So if God said this is a punishment that gotta happen to the children of Israel, yes that means cooperate. Right. Because what's the solution? Well, let me put it like this. What 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 did we do to uh for God to make that a punishment on us? We broke the commandments. Right. That's right. What was the commandment? The commandment, like you name some of them, that should not kill, that should not steal, that should not com commit adultery, all of that stuff, right? Is not that going on in our communities? Right. Do not our people do? You see what I'm saying? Right. You get me now, all right? So, if we're being punished for not keeping the commandments, what is the only way to not have to serve our enemies Bring if that's out. a punishment? Would it be right for us to just rebel and kill all the enemies, or is it to start doing the commandments that he gave us in the first place? Right. You see what I'm saying? Do it make more sense to you now? Why we shouldn't be trying to kill the the uh, the white man? Because if we kill the white man, guess what's gonna happen? What? Well, I'm gonna ask you. What what's gonna happen if we killed all the white people in the world right now? What 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 black people gonna do? What we gonna do? You see what I'm saying? Start running this motherfucker for a change. <laughs> okay, yeah. we gonna start running it, right? How many black people you know that's educated to run a Simmons Bank Corporation? Bring it out. Bring it out. I'm just naming a tower that I don't, see. Don't drive right them like that, brother. Cause see, this is several. You might be one of them. <laughs> Okay. Real. You might be one. Okay. So I might be one. Okay. Let me let me put, let me let me try to make it a little bit more plain for you. If no simple. No 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 no. Just common sense. When you apply for a job, right? Do you know everything about that company, how it operate, the ins and outs, and all of that? No, they got to train you. They got to what? Train. You. They got to train you, right? So. If you gotta get trained, you gotta gain experience, you gotta learn over time, you see what I'm saying? If we kill all the white people today, how can we take over all this stuff that we never were trained to operate? Right. It ain't about, uh, trust me, I know we the smartest nation of people in the world. That's right. I ain't saying we ain't smart enough to do it, but we never been trained to do it. Too. Cause I need to send it to my link. Okay, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I it's going on, it's going on there. It's going on there. Now, for now, now that we have a, now that we got that, you know what I'm saying, understood. Oh if black me, people brother. killed all the white people today, what's going to happen, realistically? Bring it out. If even, even with the white people ruling over us and policing us, we still ma uh, manage to do drive-by shootings, right. you know what I'm saying? Kill little uh, babies and stuff on right, accident. If we, if, on if, that, if we was, end, if we end, was completely end, without that supervision, in the end, who that affect? Us. That's right. affect us. Exactly. Okay. Then. Exactly. So, so the solution, I, I'm, I'm just showing you, the solution is not to kill all the white people. The solution is to take that same anger and aggression you got towards them and apply it to teaching your people who they are. All we gotta do is obey our God. Right. So we gonna continue to suffer these punishments so, so, okay. Let me ask as you long question. as we breaking the commandments. Let me ask you this question, where's the original Bible at? We reading it. The original Bible. The now original Bible. Like now that. when you say Bible, you know what the word Bible mean, right? The word Bible means collection of books. Right. So this is the original Bible in the sense of, it's the original collection of all the ancient scrolls that they was able to collect and uh, translate into the English language. Right. So yes, this is the original Bible. Bring out, now, bring if we talking about the scrolls that was written by the prophets at that time, what language was they written in? Hebrew. Hebrew. What type of Hebrew? You had you had Hebrew different types of Hebrew. 
you had Paleo Hebrew, which would be Moses and them, right? Then you had the later Hebrew that came when we was in the Syrian captivity and the Babylonian captivity. You see what I'm saying? Hebrew got switched up all these different years of us going into captivity and captivity and captivity. Right. All the way up until the point of Christ when a lot of us were speaking Greek. Right. So the language was mingled with Greek. So it was, it, 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 we ain't had the pure Hebrew since way back then. That's right. So now, in order to read the Bible or understand the scriptures and the scrolls, it had to be translated into English. Right. King James in the 1600s, that's what he gathered up scholars to do. And they made the original Bible, which is the one that we reading from. That's you understand? Because right. I don't like when people be trying to be uh, technical and deep and try to make it seem like we ain't supposed to be. No! We need to read the Bible. That's God, right. God put the, I, God I, I put the Spirit. That. I'm just saying. I'm, saying I'm just saying. God put the Spirit on people and things and events to take place to make sure at the end of the day that somehow the Bible ended up back in a black man's hand. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.